In this video, we're going to take a look at how to edit your WordPress themes. Now I understand that there are literally hundreds and hundreds of different WordPress themes out there. And I also understand that no matter how good a WordPress theme is, you may always have the need to customize your theme. For example, perhaps to change the font size, to change the type of font, or even to change certain colors on your WordPress theme itself. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the CSS of the default WordPress theme only. Using an FTP program like FileZilla, you need to enter your host name, username, and password, and connect to your web hosting account. And when that's done, you need to click on the public underscore HTML folder and click on WP content go inside the themes folder and you need to go into the specific folder of the theme that you want to edit so I'm going to click on the default theme and you'll see a lot of files here but what you really need to look out for is a file called style.css. In some cases, if you're using a different WordPress theme, they may have chosen to name the style sheet differently, but the extension is always .css. So I'm going to right click on this file. I'm going to select file permissions. I'm going to change this to 777. And of course, you can also check or uncheck the boxes here, or you can just type in 777 and click on OK. When that's done, you need to go back to your WordPress dashboard. Click on the Appearance tab and click on Themes to see which is the currently active theme. So make sure that the theme that you want to edit is the theme that is currently active or being used in the WordPress blog. And once you are sure that the theme is currently active, then you can just click on Editor. And in your theme editor window, you will see all the WordPress files that you can edit. But we're only going to focus on style.css for this video. Most importantly, you should see a button. And right there, the button that says Update File. If you do not see this button, it means you have not set the permission settings to 777 as I have shown you earlier in the FTP. So I'm going to resize this window to allow you to see more of this section of the CSS file. Right, and now you can see more of the style sheet itself, so I'm going to dissect this style sheet and explain to you exactly what the components are for this particular style sheet. And in most cases, most WordPress themes will have a style sheet that looks quite similar, if not exact to the one that I'm going to show you here. Now perhaps the first thing that you'll notice is this entire section here which is basically some information on the theme itself and it does not affect the way your theme would look so there's really no point editing this theme and actually if you have downloaded this theme for free under a particular license like a GPL license then under no circumstances are you allowed to remove the information here or edit the information here because you are required to provide or give credit to the author of the theme or the guy who created this theme. So all the information that you see here between this sign and this sign, you can pretty much ignore. All CSS files usually have very standard descriptions of the style or the style sheet or the particular area of your WordPress blog that it controls. So for example, this tag here says body and it pretty much affects the entire layout of the WordPress theme itself. And you can see here, there's a font size. So if you want the font size for the entire WordPress blog to be smaller or larger than it currently is, then you need to edit these values. If you want to change the type of font for the entire WordPress blog, then you'll need to edit this line to put in the exact font that you want to use. If you want to change the background color or use a background image for the entire WordPress blog, then you need to edit these values here. And these six characters that you see here,
are what control the color of your theme. So these are called hex values. And you can always find references for hex values, H-E-X values, on the internet. But generally speaking again, you probably wouldn't want to edit this unless you know exactly what the hex values are that you want to use. In a WordPress blog, typically there are two types of content that you can write. One is called a post and the other is called a page. So in this CSS file, the post and the page are using different style definitions. So you can see, for the pages here, there is a different background color and a border and also alignment of the text. And for a post, you can see it here under content. And a post is further divided into the main content area. Or in this case, it's labeled as white column and also narrow column. And this usually stands for the sidebar area. But in either case, chances are you probably would not need to edit all those values. You probably want to focus on the basic stuff. For example, to change your header image. So, if you want to change your header image, make sure you've created a new image and upload that image into your theme folder under the images folder. So basically that means you go to wp-content forward slash the theme name, in this case it's default, forward slash images and upload your image there. And that will be one of the easiest ways to change the header image for your WordPress theme. So I'm going to go ahead now and save the changes I've made to my WordPress theme. But it's very important to remember that you cannot undo any changes that you make directly in the WordPress dashboard. So you'll probably want to copy everything here and paste it into a text file and save that text file as a backup. So I'm just going to right click here and choose select all and then I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to open up a new notepad file and I'm just gonna place everything here and save it onto my desktop or any other location I want. Okay. And when that's done, you can always click on Update File. And it says here that the file has been edited successfully. So you can always preview your WordPress theme to see what changes you have made and see if these changes are what you wanted in the first place and if you find that you're not satisfied with those changes and you know exactly what you need to do to get a better result then by all means you can go ahead and continue editing the style.css file but if for example you find that something has gone terribly wrong in your wordpress theme then you can always use the backup you just created and start all over again <laughs>